all right guys so before we go down this list of top five fishes to keep with your turtle i strongly 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 recommend you go check this video out first which is the original video i did about how to keep fish with turtles because as good as this list is as safe as these fishes these fish choices are um, if you don't put them in the right place if you don't scape the tank the right way they might not survive with a turtle so check that video out first make sure you know how to keep fish with turtles and then watch this video about the top five fish to keep with the turtles this should fix it okay all right i'm so excited for this so i'm pulling up my list over here i've been wanting to do this video forever um, i think it's just so exciting i love turtles and the only thing better than keeping turtles is keeping fish with turtles all right so let's get right into it number five on the list is the honey gourami now this cute little fish uh, they just do so well with the turtles they are pretty able to just evade the turtles and it's if you're looking for that little fish that you don't want it to become the main um, attraction of the tank you don't want to take the, the the spotlight away from the turtle that you're keeping then if you want to focus to maintain on the turtle these are a really good fish to keep just a pair would do they will run all around the, the tank what I really love about them is that they weave in and out of plants if you keep plants although it can be a, bit, a little bit messy when you have turtles but some java fern some anubias that would do great and then you'll see them they weave in and out of the plants so you, you, it's, it's sort of like unpredictable where you're gonna find them and that is really really what I love because you can it's, it's not like um, a certain fish that you always see at a certain place at a certain time you know you never know where they are so you sort of peeping their tank yes your turtle will always be there but you're gonna look in and wonder hey where's the honey gourami um, they do well if if you have already a lot of other fish inside and then you want to add you know something that just adds a little more dimension and interesting factor to your tank but you don't want it to look overcrowded you don't want it to add too much to your bio load then this is a perfect fish oh okay all right number four on the list is the rainbow shark now this is a you're probably not going to put only this fish with your turtle uh, you probably want to pair it with other things that on this list or other things out of this list but what i really like about this is that it's, it's that almost like a centerpiece fish something that's different you're going to put one only uh, you don't want to keep more than one they're going to be they're going to try and kill each other even if you put three or four there's going to be a lot of aggression um, do be cautioned that because their aggression is there even if you just keep one only they might chase other fish around a little bit so you're gonna want to need a lot of decorations a lot of things that can break the line of sight but they do really well with turtles uh, my experience is that when a turtle gets close just even close to it off they go and their speed that they swim no turtle will ever catch them always alert so they're a perfect thing if you're looking for that you know that you already have a full stock of fish inside uh, whatever type of fish you choose to go with but you want to get something to add a little extra dimension you know that little oddball fish that people will look at your tank or you will look at your tank and like go hey this is interesting then this is the fish for you all right number three on the list and this is where we start to get really really interesting um the convict cichlid now I was tempted to put this at number one and in terms of survival in terms of being able to evade the turtle in terms of you know not having any compatibility issues with turtles I think they probably rank number one uh, but I did put them at three because hey the things that I like even oh my god are you kidding me are you kidding me come on all right guys we had a little bit of a technical glitch and now we have less than optimal lighting but we are back nonetheless and so let's continue where we left off where was i where was i so the convict cichlid um notoriously aggressive cichlid and what i really like about this guy so they don't get too big um i think the males will max out at five inches but usually they get up to about four four and a half the females stay smaller and they get a little bit of that orange belly um, they got that stripe going down their body and that's why they're called convict cichlid a um, little bit of bluish grayish color to them with black stripes 
looks super fierce and looks or is every bit what they look or even more so if you go online you can actually find footage of convict cichlids um, fighting off big i don't know 12 inch oscars uh, my convict cichlids can fight with my so it's about four four and a half inches maybe and it fights off my five and a half six inch blood parrot which if you guys know blood parrots aren't just it's not just about the, the, the length but they're actually pretty high as well pretty thick so they're actually much bigger than the convict cichlid and boy this the convict cichlid just put up such a big fight for their size i've seen footage of them fighting with jaguars with jack Dempsey's, and i think the craziest one is the oscar when you fight off the oscar that was just nuts so the thing about them is that if you get a pair, a male and a female, they're probably going to pair up and you're probably, they're probably going to breed in your tank. So when you breed in your tank, you got to be a little bit careful because they can get really aggressive and I mean even your turtle is going to be in danger. So when my convict cichlids bred in tank, they actually um, attack my turtle when the turtle got too close and the turtle will usually get close so that's something you want to keep an eye on. Um, it's probably nothing, your, your turtle is probably not in danger but I would imagine it's not the most comfortable so you're going to want a decent sized tank if you're going to pull this off and you probably don't want to keep multiple males together unless you have sufficient to spread the aggression if not you're going to see a lot of true cichlid behavior of this aggression and fighting over territory and that's something that you want to make sure of, you want to make sure that they have territory to create, to build so you're going to want to create some rock work or some wood work you know you want to create caves and and break the line of sight and places that you can guard and protect or you want to go the other route and have enough and no territory whatsoever so that no one can actually establish a area or, or that they claim that is theirs and that is how you're going to enjoy the convict cichlid to the to what it can be enjoyed as <laughs> all right boom 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 number where are we number two on the list and guys after number one i have a bonus fish so stick around number one is not the end there's a bonus fish which isn't necessarily number one but you guys will understand why it is the bonus all right number two is the blood parrot now these guys um what can i say uh, they're not as good as the convict cichlid in evading um the turtle but nonetheless, I think they are pretty good. They are very aware, as with all cichlids, especially American cichlids, um, they are very aware of their surroundings. So they, they exude a certain level of intelligence that is above other fishes. So really, they are really good at evading, so long they are not too um, blur or I don't know. Most of them are pretty good, right? So long they are American cichlids, my experience has been that most of them are pretty good. The reason I think blood parrots are really nice is um, so they get a little bit bigger than a convict cichlid. So if you guys want something that maybe can, you know, almost match the size of your turtle, then this is a fish to go with. The other thing I really like about them is that um, because they are hybrid, in case you guys don't know, they are hybrid, so they are a man-made species. That is something that you are going to love or hate. For me, I used to not like it, but then I grew to hate it. Sorry, I grew to love it, but that's another topic altogether. Um, they are hybrid, so what happens is after crossbreeding, they their mouths they can't completely close their mouths so you'll notice their mouths are like always open all the time which is great because they have the aggression one of their parent species is actually a midas cichlid and i can't remember what else was it but they're pretty aggressive american cichlids um, so your blood parrot actually has some level pretty high level of aggression actually but it, it, it saves you all that trouble you don't have to worry about your about your turtle getting hurt because they can't close their mouth so what you'll see is that they do actually um, fight your turtle when your turtle gets interested in trying to eat them but you're going to see them sort of just nudge the turtle away they can't really bite the turtle so they're not going to harm the turtle but it's enough to get the turtle irritated and realize that okay um, this is not food or maybe this is food but it's not worth getting irritated over to come and eat so that is why i think they're so great um, and because of that they do really well with a lot of other fishes as well. The convict cichlid is so aggressive. Um, you can keep other fish in there, but if your tank is not big enough or if they're breeding, uh, chances are, you know, if they're breeding in one corner of the tank, you're gonna see all your fish at the other corner of the tank, even your turtle at the other corner of the tank because they're gonna be, any ones that come in this radius, they're just gonna attack them. 
uh, with the blood parrot they're a lot more peaceful towards other fish at least that's what i have found uh, not necessarily to other cichlids but to other fish they're really really peaceful so long you can't fit in their mouth they'll leave them alone and you guys can enjoy just a, a combination of fishes together with your turtle all right number one on the list i do not need to look at my phone for this because this yeah i think you guys already know the tiger barb i mean i've already done a whole video about why tiger barbs are amazing and one of the reasons that wasn't in that video but is the reason here today is that they can go really really well with turtles i mean again they have that beautiful stripe same as the convict just fewer stripes nice uh goldenish yellow to them with some orangey reddish uh, fins or yeah fins what do you call those fins fins and just a beautiful fish they're gonna they're a schooling fish so you're gonna keep them in at least six but i mean the bigger your tank go with a big school it is beautiful and i think one of the best ways to keep them is with a turtle because right now what you're gonna see is that um so they're, they're sort of like this shoaling fish right and the thing about shoaling fish is that if they don't see a threat or a danger not necessarily that, that they have to be under constant stress but they just need to see uh, they need a reason to group up together right if, if it's way too comfortable for them then you're gonna see them sort of chill and scatter around which is fine it's nice as well i mean if you, you really want to create the optimal conditions for the fish maybe that's what you're gonna go with but if you add in a big fish or a big turtle then you're gonna see a whole different effect of them from time to time you're gonna see them school around like mad and they're just gonna go back and forth and back and forth in the tank and that is the to date to date i think that is the best sight i have ever seen in my whole fish keeping journey like that's the best thing you ever can get in your tank there's a whole bunch of tiger bobs schooling back and forth um, the reason i like how they school is so different from other schooling fish i mean with other schooling fish usually you'll sort of see um, they tend to school pretty compact and tight together you would see a general leader and you know the rest are following but with this they, they sort of school almost in a line so you're gonna see the leader go and then the next hierarchy in rank and it is gonna create this line that is gonna back forth and they're gonna go especially make sure you get the decorations in there so that they have things to school around and you're gonna see them go all over that is the most beautiful thing ever. Um, if you need more reasons why tiger bobs are great, then check out this video over here that I did quite a while ago about why tiger bobs are great. Um, on top of that, you're probably not gonna have any issues with the turtle being able to catch them. But as always, remember to watch my previous video about how to keep fish with turtles before you put any of this fish inside. Because as good as they are, um, I think it's still very, very crucial. The most critical period is when you add them and how you scape your tank. These are the few things that are really important. So you're going to want to check the video out how you're going to do it. And with those coupled with this fish, it's almost guaranteed success. And all right, that brings us to the bonus fish. Now, I think a lot of you can probably guess, but if you can't guess, then it is none other than the clown loach uh, reason this is the bonus fish is because i mean you can put them in with the turtle by itself but i think that on its own it's like you know okay nothing amazing but they really really complement our number one fish choice the tiger bob you put them together they both originate from the same area the same waters uh, in sumatra and borneo around the area in indonesia they look almost similar but yet pretty different the clown loach does get quite a bit bigger or should i say much bigger they actually if you see ever seen wild loaches they get up to like 12 inches a foot long that's a really big one uh, but those you see in aquariums usually you're going to get them around as, as small as two inches maybe three or four and they tend to grow up to like five or six inches before they slow their growth will slow down a lot so it's probably going to take years before they gain any inch on top of that uh, most of those big loaches I've ever seen are always wild caught ones. I've never seen aquarium ones grow that big. But yeah, you put them in together with your tiger bobs. And when I talk about that schooling action, now just imagine this bunch of clown loaches. So these are completely different fishes, right? These are bottom dwellers and they are loaches. They're not barbs and they're going to school together with your tiger bob. Uh, they can be quite skittish, but once you have a whole bunch of tiger bobs together with them, 
they're going to feel very comfortable. Again, there is schooling phase, so the more the merrier. Um, minimum, people will say six. I actually find that even when I had three at first, they weren't shy at all. They looked pretty happy. They ate well. Everything was good, but always the more the merrier. Um, other things you're going to really enjoy about them is that that's a reason they're called clown loach and that's because of their behavior so sometimes you're gonna walk in a room and you're gonna think oh my god is this guy dead and no he's not um, they like to chill or sleep on their side sometimes they're gonna you know lodge themselves into really weird um, crevices and just look like they're stuck or that they're dead but that's really just that's just them that's their personality and that's why people love them so much and I think Another of the most amazing thing is you have this whole school of them together with the whole, whole this whole school of clown loaches together with the whole school of tiger barbs. And then uh, once you train them to see you as food, when you go up to their aquarium, let, let get this right, okay, your turtle is really going to be here. Your turtle, trust me, is going to come to the front of your tank begging for food. And then you can put your hand there. You're going to see all your tiger barbs and your clown loaches swim up to the glass and just especially the loaches they're gonna just keep going up and up the glass the most amazing sight ever okay and the best part is that you can actually clip most of these fish together in fact i think at one point in time i had all of them in the tank at one go uh, not much issue other than the convict circle that's the only one you're gonna be a little bit careful females are a lot less aggressive than the males but other than that you can actually if your tank is big enough fit all this inside with your turtle and have zero problems all right guys thank you so much for watching today's episode is all about turtles and right now i want you guys to go check out this video over here so right now if you're looking at this video and it is a teaser documentary teaser then go check it out it's about an upcoming documentary teaser but if you're watching this in the future and the teaser is already out then right now what you'll be looking at over here is the documentary itself about red yet slider so if you guys like turtles go check that out you won't regret it all right take care bye bye